and hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Sarah I am a part-time reseller this is my fourth year as a reseller and I sell clothing and shoes sometimes accessories online for a profit that I pick up at thrift stores garage sales anywhere I can get it for a decent price and today's video I feel like is one of the most important videos you can watch if you're a newbie because it's going to show you exactly what has been selling and maybe what wasn't a good pickup. Like I show the good, bad, and the ugly on this channel. So if you're new, make sure you subscribe because there's some very valuable content. Um, the video today, you will see I have been putting some items I've had for over a year. I went through my list and I had some from 2022 and started marking stuff down. I've cleaned a bunch of stuff out this week. I have been a busy, busy bee and um, it's starting to pay off. So I did have some sales on eBay, some Facebook Marketplace, local pickups, and some Poshmark sales. So I'm going to pop up pictures over here so you can see what the item looked like. I'm going to tell you what I sold it for and what I paid for it. Um, so the first item was a kid's item on eBay. I sold this Janie and Jack pink metallic little skirt. Paid $3 for this. Nope, sorry. Paid 52 cents. I have my columns backwards. 52 cents it sold for $3. So again, another item where it's like I picked it up at the bins. It is a good kids brand. You probably just need a more substantial piece. So I probably wouldn't pick up just a basic skirt. Yes, Rocky. Good morning. Good morning. I'm not talking about you. Go lay down. <laughs> Okay, sorry. So probably wouldn't pick that up again, but I'm glad I made a little bit of money back, right? That was good. All right, next up on eBay, if you don't know, that's Rocky. He's my three-legged rescue dog. He likes attention. Um, next on eBay, I sold this Torrid Curve bra. Um, I think I just priced this too high. I said in my last video, um, maybe I had tore it all wrong. It can sell. It just doesn't sell for a lot. So just be careful what you're picking up. Um, I picked this up. It was a 48C and it was new with tags. Sold for $20 on eBay and I paid $4.99. Um, next up was an Eileen Fisher Knit Waterfall Cardigan in gray. It was linen and silk blend. Ooh, I paid $6.54 and it sold for $15. That was an item I've had for a long time. I marked it down and it finally sold. Next up, Rocky Honey, go lay down. Thank you, Scooch. If you're not shopping in the bra section at thrift stores, you kind of need to. Um, I've sold this Wacol. I'm not sure how to say it. Romantic Encounters Black Underwire Bra and a 42 Double D. It sold for $20. I paid $2.99. Uh, next up on eBay is a Lily Pulitzer dress. I picked this up at a consignment shop on clearance. Um, I think the style was just too old. It sold for $5. I paid $7.66. So I lost money, but you know what? I got $5 back that I can invest in something better. Uh, next up on eBay was a Torrid Watercolor High Low Skirt. Mark this item down. I'd had it forever. I paid $0.78 cents at the bins. It sold for $4.49. Okay, now I promise. Look, see, I do have some good sales. <laughs> Here's... Here is um, an Anthropology Pilcro oversized button down shirt, extra large, new with tags. So it's like, okay, I had some stuff going for it. Um, I paid $12.99 and it sold in just a couple of weeks for $35. So that was a good one. And then the last sale over on eBay was a, another toward item. It was a dress in new with tags. I'm so sorry, there's so much going on. <laughs> you need to go lay down. You're like a toddler, I swear. A Torrid sequin cocktail dress. I paid $5.99 at my local thrift. And I made someone an offer for $30 and they accepted. Okay, next. I did get spiffed once this week, if that's the right word. Skunked, right? Uh, where I was like, had a $55 sale. Someone was going to meet me and they didn't show up. So I was like, I don't know about this whole Facebook marketplace thing. I had two people that did work out, so I'm like, all right, that was worth it. Um, first, I sold this L.L. Bean women's flannel button-up shirt. It was a size 2X. I think I paid $5.99 because it was outerwear, and it sold for 20 
And then I sold these Spanx women's full leather leggings and an extra large, paid $4.99 and they sold for $30. So um, with Facebook Marketplace though, I only meet in public places. I'm not doing porch pickup. I'm not doing anything where I have to give someone my address because I just don't think in these days that that's very safe to do. So if you're gonna do Facebook, you know, I meet at my local Walmart. Meet me by the gas station. This is when I'm driving, like, and that's worked just fine. All right, then moving on over to Poshmark. I had five sales over there in the last week. I sold another kid's item. A Juicy Couture 24-month yellow jacket. It had the logo on the back. I paid $2.50. It sold for eight. Probably wouldn't get that again. I Sometimes I just get stuff because I think it's cute, and then no one else thinks it's cute. Does that happen to you guys? All right, then I sold another tour dress. This one was used um, in a 1X, so it wasn't, you know, 2, 3X. It can still sell. It was a chambray off-the-shoulder dress. Paid $5.99. It sold for $22. So new with tags around $30. Used tour dresses made to be $20 to $22. So that was still a good sale. I still made money. And actually, that one sold in less than a month, too. Next up on Poshmark, I sold this Zaya Active plus size black and pink long line sports bra. I paid $4.99 for this and it sold for $18. Um, again, if you haven't noticed the trend, I sold three like bras this week. So if you're not going through pajamas and bras, it might be worth a look. There's certain brands, just check your comps. And um, there is a brand though, heads up. It's called She Fit. And you can sell those bras anywhere from $30 to $50 even if they're used because they are like super duper heavy duty like for running. And um, any and any time I've run across those, they sell like in less than a week. So be on the lookout for some bras. Next on Poshmark, I sold this Baltic Born dress. Um, it was a size extra large. I couldn't find the stock photo for it, so I just used a lot of keywords like fall photos. Um, <clears throat> bought this for $5.99 at my local thrift store. Sold for $32. That was a good sale. And then the last item to sell this week on Poshmark was a belt. I picked this up. It's a Nakona. But it was a size 24, so I think that might have hurt it a little bit. Um, I did pick it up at the bins for a dollar, and it sold on Poshmark for 10 So that's what's selling for me. Um, I did go to my local Goodwill last night. <clears throat> Excuse me, I need a cup of coffee. I did go uh, thrifting last night while my daughter was in an appointment to, you know, get her nails done because 12 year olds apparently are all bougie and everything. And, but I did find some good stuff. I just haven't had time to list a whole lot. So some of the stuff you're seeing has it sold because I haven't put it online. It can't sell if you don't list it. So I have work to do, including my regular full-time job today. I have a board meeting for the Humane Society, so I'm probably not going to get to listing till tomorrow night. So we'll see what happens. I'll try to clear through the inventory I have before I go buy anything else this weekend. And then you guys can see what I picked up over the weekend, and I'll put out another video probably Saturday or Sunday. So again, make sure you like and subscribe. That way you don't miss any of the videos. It doesn't cost you anything to do it. You just hit the button down below that says subscribe and then the little bell um, will give you the notifications every time I post which I post about twice a week right now so thanks for hanging out with me again today on this what sold video and again the biggest tip I can say from this week I learned is keep shopping in the bra section and it should be pretty profitable I'll catch you guys again later thanks